Hi guys, so today we're going to be crafting with PVC aluminum ducting. Yes, this is what they use for the dryer, the vent in the dryer. And this one is a very good quality. It comes with these two clamps, but we're not going to be using those. And this one is PVC on the outside and aluminum on the inside. And it's much sturdier than the ones that I have using in my house. So this is definitely a good one to work with. And I'm going to be making a vase today. Well, two vases because this is eight feet long. It's very long and it extends so i'm going to be cutting mine into thirds but before i do that i'm going to be using my rust-oleum copper spray paint and i'm also going to use this bell ornament from the dollar tree for the bell ornament i'll be spray painting it black black matte with my rust-oleum matte black spray paint so you want to put a pair of gloves on hold your dryer vent just like this very tight and spray paint it in your hand and this is how it should look when you're done. So now I'll go ahead and use my exacto knife to cut it. I'm just going to cut it in two. I'm going to cut one third of it off and I'll be making two separate vases. So I'm just using my exacto knife to go around the inner ring. I'm cutting on the inside and when I start to see the opening on the other side, then I'll use my pliers to cut the wire. Now I'm just using my hand to press down the edges of my um, vent so I can glue them together. And I'm just going to be using my hot glue to glue them together to make my shape. Okay, and this will be my first vase. And I'm just going around the edge with my hot glue and then I'll place them together and hold them until they're sealed together. So now it's nice and secure. So that's going to be the base. And this is the bell. I'm going to be using one of these um, little bowls from the Dollar Tree just to glue my bell onto it to give it some foundation. And the bell is where we're going to be putting our flowers. To connect the two, I'm just using my hot glue gun to pierce holes in the cup. Just be careful. Um, do not rush it because I cracked. Um, the cup but it's not going to be showing so that's fine if you have a soldering iron go ahead and use that it will be much easier but do that outside so now that's in place i'll just use my hot glue to hold the two together and we're basically done with this vase i'm just going to place it on the inside and it will sit right on that small bowl you can use more hot glue on the base to hold the two together if you'd like but i find it's very um, stable so i didn't need to do that so for the next vase, and this is the one third of the entire dry vent. Okay, I'm just going to put my hot glue in between the spaces and glue it together on one side. And I'm also using a tie strap to tie it together. And I'll leave the edge of that tie strap on the inside. And you could cut the dryer vent in equal parts if you'd like to have a matching pair of vases. Okay, it will work just the same. The spaces will not be as tight as mine, but it will work just the same. So I want the opening of this vase to be up. So I'm pressing in on the center of it just to create like a base so it can sit. And I'm also adding some pebbles from the Dollar Tree to help to hold it down in place. And that worked. So that's it. We're done with our two vases. These were very easy to make. I hope you like at least one of them. Let me know in the comment section below which one is your favorite. Okay. And which color would you use? I would normally use gold, but I didn't have any gold spray paint. So I'm just using up what I have. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. Please remember to give me a thumbs up if you haven't done so already. I'll really appreciate that. If you missed my previous video, here's the link on the screen. Just go ahead and click that rectangular box. Take care and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye-bye.